Onivia League of Legends highlights. We don't actually know, so we're gonna wait and uh, now we speculate. <laughs> now we speculate because there, there is yeah, no way getting that... things started for his team and also continuing the struggles in lane that uh, that have persisted somewhat for Duma. Auntie is looking for the punish, he was able yep. to do it. They're just gonna go straight up the lane here and try to get this dive down. Gamian is very low though, and he picks up first blood, but he's also taken down immediately as Karia, level two, level three now, actually hits that perfectly as he will try to get the follow-up right over the wall, very clean, and there's the Ignite, Karia picks up one kill. There's the Triumph, he's looking for another one as the Q is going to land up to Umpty. You gotta be kidding me, can he get this kill? The answer. And Inferno on uh, uh, a team that is five defensive champions, pretty great. You'll take that. Uh, that that's a Maybe even save them by <laughs> trying to stop the dive there. As oh, no. you are backing on Vision, but uh, there is Gami in here, and that's going to be the attract repel, but Karia does not care. He's fighting through the exhaust, and he's going to be taken down as Guma. Uh, not sure about that second mouse click after the kill. As maybe he clicked over the dragon pit? I don't know, that was hey, right. Hey, I'm an optimist, Elvis. Yeah. I believe. Love it. Uh, uh, oh. Here we go. Umpty's going to get a massive combo alongside a delight. Three people knocked up forever, but then Faker returns the favor immediate Nar into the wall. But will it matter as the Ankar gets totally blocked by the wind wall? And that is exactly what we were saying. The Seraphine has zero value as everybody from Fred Upreon gets in the pit and gets pummeled into the ground T1 quickly turns into one of these games where that team doesn't always win but there's about 7,000 fights and that team always is looking to fight um T1 have a little bit more restraint Zayus is also going for the tankier build which means that they have someone that can actually utilize the Senna sustain and provide a lot of safety as I'm pretty sure so is dead oh, no. Yeah, he is yeah. Uh, super dead. He does not have flash, no hop available either. Owner is now 2-0 and 3. He had, um, obviously, double hop. He's got proto belt. He had flash if he needed it. <laughs> Doesn't even have to use his ultimate ability here. Just a clean kill. And Karia just solo on the bottom side. He's just going to back away. It's now Faker. He's not playing LeBlanc this time, but he is going to tether onto Lava. There is the second Cyclone, and he is dead, alone in the river. He gets well, taken out. That can actually... Wait, he had to flash just now. I don't know what happened, but uh, that can't be good. Um, yeah. <laughs> and... and, and um, <laughs> Certainly I can. Believe. Yeah, I, I do agree. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Lava has a crown. Owner has a really nice flank angle, though, as they are going to get on top of Sword, who is Meganar, but not that tanky. Finally, he is going to get into that Meganar. The kick comes in as they're trying to get the seal, and that is a massive three-man double ultimate to come in from T1. And there's even some fight back from Sword, but it's way too little, way too late. Oh man, T1, they just are styling on them. This is like the Harlem Globetrotters right now. They're just picking their favorite champs and just going to town. It's not fair. I don't get that reference at all, but I, what is happening to Fred and Brion here? It's very unfortunate, Velvas, and I can only assume that your your analogy is that as, oh, Karia gets a number of kills. Zeus is monstrously fed. Um, and you see the composition there. Uh, owner just walks through like three people. Karia gets a kick. And then Faker ults. And then that's the end of it. And no encore and no amount of damage, uh, which Fred of Rio really is lacking. Uh, unless they get perfect setups or not from behind. Neither of which have been a reality this game. Um, just create it was actually just perfect <laughs> found found the the sweet underbelly the weak side is as Zeus yeah he's going for the kill this guy is dead so wow. dead and actually Guma picked up the kill so after all that so he's Zeus you're not allowed to get even more fed it's actually just illegal
as here comes Umpty. That's going to be an Encore that's totally just missed, but Zeus does have to hop back here to his clone, trying to get a little bit more health, but now he tries to turn onto Lava, as now he's got Caria around him. He was going to miss. Everybody is super low, and you just know that Owner is licking his lips, looking for those kills, as it is going to be actually Zeus dying in the end. <laughs> and he does not care. He does not care. <laughs> Oh, he goes down after all. Unfortunate scenario as, uh... It's, it's a shellacking, Veldas. It is not surprising. Um, I, I'm, after game number one, where Fred Brain was a... I don't... I, yeah... Definitely an owner for me. I, 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 I honestly don't know. Um, I guess... I guess it's owner. Might be Zayus as well he's also playing very very well picked up a bunch of kills it's some great nah, ultimate he just benefited off of owners engage i mean yeah. he, he's definitely playing well himself uh, what about <laughs> carrier so, having the most fun he's having the most fun he certainly wins that award he has a fantastic setup here as gamin is going to survive for longer than expected that is another huge owner engage as the Moonfall comes in, the damage is extremely large. As now Faker is looking for his own fun on the backside. Probably not going to find it, actually, as he has the Wind Wall. And doesn't do much. As Gamin finally goes down. And Zeus is going to clean up the mess that is happening here in the base. As Sword, pretty large, but they have the damage. That is the Meganar into the wall. And can they actually kill them? They can't quite get them both. As Zeus is unkillable on the backside of this fight. He will finish off the ace here for T1. 13,000 gold to lead. And T1, I don't know if they can end it here, even with the Baron buff, but uh, they still take down the inhibitor. And just wait for the fight. And you know that T1 is going to make a fight happen. They only have 20 minutes, uh, 20 seconds on this Baron buff, so definitely going to oh try no. to make it happen before then, you'd have to imagine. Maybe not. Or they could just back away. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't think they were going to. But everybody is going to dodge that one. Here comes the crash down. Delight trying to make this happen, but he only finds one as he does get space called in the backside. But the Wombo Combo comes in in a giant safe of gold, smashes Fred Freon's head from the top side. And it does crash down on them completely. Another ace here for T1 as they are going to end this game in 23 and a half minutes. They absolutely demolished them. It was not fair. It was not pretty. And T1 will go home with the 2-0. And the less that is said about that game.